Hey guys, it's Catherine from TheBlissfulMind.com and today I want to talk about how you can reduce mental clutter. Now, when I say mental clutter, I am talking about when you have so many ideas and thoughts and worries floating around in your head that you feel like you just cannot think clearly. It happens to a lot of us and if you are feeling that way right now, then keep watching this video is for you. I'm sure by now you've heard how important it is to declutter the physical space around you because it helps you think more clearly, be more productive, just feel calmer because there's not so much going on around you, it's just as important to make sure that you are decluttering your mental space as well. So my first tip is to get really clear on your priorities. These are the things that are the most important in your life and they're going to help you make decisions more easily if you get clear on what's important to you. So for example, your top three priorities in life might be your family, your friends, and fun, for example. Those might be the three top things that when you're trying to make decisions, if it falls into one of those categories, it's going to be easier for you to decide yes or no. One of your priorities might uh, be self-care and making sure that you're taking care of yourself properly. So if you're struggling to make a decision, you feel like there's so much going on and you don't know um, if you're making the right choice, think about does this help me in any way with self-care? That's one of my priorities and if it does or doesn't then that can help you make that decision. So whatever your priorities are, use them to help you make decisions and get rid of that mental clutter that comes from trying to make decisions. My second tip for reducing mental clutter is kind of similar to the first one but um, I had to share this with you because I read a book called Essentialism by Greg McKeon and I highly recommend that to everybody. It's such a great book for getting clear on what's important to you. Like I just mentioned, it's so important to get clear on your priorities and if you're not sure what those are, this book can really help you. It's about being an essentialist. So what is essential for you in your life so that you can make an impact, so that you can do what is meaningful to you? One of the quotes that really stuck with me from this book is, if it's not a clear yes, then it's a no. So if you are out there trying to make a decision about anything, whatever it may be, a, taking a work trip or whether it's just like buying an item of clothing, if you're looking at it and thinking, oh, maybe this is a good idea, maybe it's not, think to yourself, if this isn't a clear yes, then it's a no. And you have to be kind of ruthless with yourself like to help you reduce that like decision making time and just get on with it. So my third tip for reducing mental clutter is to have a place where you can store all of your ideas because I'm guessing that you have a lot of amazing ideas. If you're an overthinker, if you're someone who lives in your head a lot, there's probably a lot of ideas going on there and you know it can be they can start to take over if you don't have a place to get rid of them or you can start to feel really unorganized if you're constantly like you have a great idea and so you write it down on a notebook and then you have another idea and you I don't know save it on your computer you have these like ideas everywhere and you never know where to find them again or you find them later down the road and you're like oh dang it that was a good idea so my tip is to have one place to store all of your ideas. This could be in like one notebook if you're somebody who likes to write things down. It could be in Evernote, which is a great app for um, just kind of like collecting things that you might find online, like images or quotes, or just, you know, it's just a place to store ideas. And I really like using it for that. It could be on the notes in your phone. It could be, I don't know, just save somewhere on like a Google document, just so that it's in one place and you're not constantly saving things to different places all the time and you can't even remember where you save them. So that's one of my tips is just to have a place that's dedicated for your ideas or thoughts or whatever is going on in your head. Just get them out into that one place. Another tip to reduce mental clutter is to get really conscious about the amount of information you consume. We spend so much time on our computers and scrolling through our phones that we're constantly bombarded by information, whether we are looking for it or not. We get so overwhelmed because we're learning all of this new information, which is great, but we don't really have a place to put it. So I would recommend, you know, when at the, maybe it's at the end of the day or after you've learned something that's interesting, get it out. Like, write it down, tell somebody about it, write a blog post, write in your journal about it, um, send an email to someone saying, hey, I just learned it's so cool, or text somebody, whatever it is. Just get it out of your head so that you are kind of putting that knowledge to practical use or um, you're not holding on to it so that it's just lost in the abyss of your mind. My last tip for freeing up some mental space is 
to not hold on to every single thought that you have. And I've kind of mentioned this throughout the video already that it's so important to just get things out of your head, whether that's writing them down, just grabbing a piece of paper and literally writing anything that comes to mind. Some people call this a brain dump, um, is just literally emptying your brain of everything you can think of. And from there, you can then say, okay, this is actually a to-do list item. I need to add this to my to-do list or, okay, this is something that's coming up in the future that that maybe I don't need to be worrying about right now so you kind of just let it go or you put it on the calendar for later or um, you can just let it go <laughs> there are certain things you think and you're like you know what this has no use for me right now this is not a productive thought this is not helping me in any way it's just I needed to get it out and I'm letting it go <laughs> and give yourself permission to let it go like you do not have to hold on to every single thought that you have whether the positive or negative thoughts just Find a way to get them out of your head. And um, I always like to do this before I go to bed. Um, when I'm writing my to-do list for the next day, I always just kind of do a quick brain dump of everything that's going on in my head. And then I have a clear sense of what I actually need to work on for the next day. And if you're interested in starting your day on a clear foot, um, I actually have a morning planner worksheet that will help you kind of plan the day before so that you can have a really productive and successful morning and you're not stressing out so much because your mind is so cluttered. It's all about getting clear right in the morning. So I will leave a link to that if you are interested. I hope all of these tips have helped you in some way to maybe free up some mental space. If you did like this video, please leave a comment letting me know and I will see you next time.